Elizabeth, I hate to say it, but I think we're all getting so used to this weather. We're acting like, oh, this is pretty normal for yeah. May, huh? It does feel Can that you way. blame us, Joseph? Yeah. I mean, yeah. you, you and the weather team have been giving us these high temperatures day after day. It feels like summer already. It sure does. Yeah, they've been summer temperatures, uh -huh. early summer temperatures especially. Today, yeah, just about the same. We hit the lower 80s here in the Willamette Valley. Also feeling like summer because when it was warm here in the valley, it was cooler for the Oregon coast and usually... In those days where, you know, it's warm here, we try to go to the coast to cool down a little bit, but we're not quite to that heat just yet. But notice the difference between temperatures. We had 50s up and down along the Oregon coast today, socked in with some cloud coverage there. Here in Portland, we hit 80, the normal high 69, and this is the third, I believe, 80 degree day so far here for our May, and I believe we have a few more. Salem at 83 degrees. And pushing 90, coming out of the Dallas, plenty of sunshine, a lot to work with. In fact, this weekend I have us right around 82 degrees both days. It's a different forecast, but they're the same because the outcome is going to be very similar. And I do have temperatures right around 82, may even be a few degrees warmer than that. We may even see some temperatures pushing about the mid 80s as we go into this weekend, which means we're going to have about five days in the 80s so far this May, so it's been warm. 63 degrees though tonight, that north-northwest breeze at 14 miles per hour at times today. It's been a bit stronger than that. Notice tonight, most locations still kind of breezy out there. It's a light breeze though, 10 to 15 miles per hour, and that's kind of been the case through uh, most of the afternoon, but we did peak uh, in the mid-20s to about 30 miles per hour. In fact, Vancouver hit 31 miles per hour. Florence almost 40. And uh, that wind has been coming out of the north for the last few days for the Oregon coast, which has allowed for some cloudy conditions and also some coastal upwelling allowing for some cooler water there and leaving the temperatures a little bit colder too. All right, so here's the center line radar tonight. Notice that we had that round of thunderstorm activity through the Cascade Crest. If you joined us earlier, you saw all the billowing clouds that we are looking at. Calming down tonight, that's the current time frame, but we still have this disturbance here. So late tonight, some of those thunderstorms, as we change the orientation, so we're looking more out of the northwest. You can see that we have the thunderstorms south of about Medford there. That disturbance will eventually kick on out of here, and hopefully we see nothing but some uh, clear conditions as we go into the weekend, even to the south. All right, notice that this spring has been dry. Yeah, look at that. We need some rain. We have some rain on the way. It's not going to be this weekend, as I mentioned, but it looks like we may have a pattern shift here as we go into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, allowing for maybe a couple showers there. All right, I have some 80s here, as I mentioned, about 82, 83 degrees. Monday at 77, and then we get a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. There's that rain, but it's necessary. We need the rain. I just don't think it's going to be a soaking, more scattered shower. Yeah, but Ben, this weekend, just like summer, huh, Joseph? Sure is. Beautiful. Yeah, coming up.